Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a new humble bundle of interest to game developers, specifically those of you that are interested in learning to use Blender and Blender for game development tasks. This is a great course bundle because it's from Game Dev TV. Uh, their stuff in the past has been pretty consistently good, so highly recommended from uh, people in the comments, highly recommended from my exposure to them. I haven't run through all of these courses myself, obviously. I checked out this one, we'll look at it quickly in this video as well, uh, but their courses are of a very high caliber. If you're wondering how this First, basically, Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff, in this case, Blunder courses. Uh, it is organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, uh, to help support Game From Scratch. So at the $1 tier, you're basically getting filler and this guy right here, the Blunder Low Poly Landscape course. By the way, any one of these, you can click on it, drill down, and find out a little bit more details about it. The nice thing here is what you're seeing is Blunder 3.0. Uh, Blunder is up to 3. Point something now, 3.3. I think as of the recording of this video or about to be 3.3 uh, but as long as it's three or later generally the course is going to still be relevant when they say click this thing here that thing there is still going to be where it was before so uh, generally these courses are all up to date with the currentish version you're always going to have some stale dating of course content it's just the way things work uh, we jump up to the next tier here though and what you're getting is the average price tier this doesn't make any sense ever on the way that humble bundle works because you're just going to find that the next tier is just so close in price. So this is basically $24.50 um, and you're getting these two new courses. So what I'm going to do is show you instead of $32.59 Canadian, uh, let's go up to uh, $33.82 Canadian. So you're either going to buy the $1 tier or the $25 USD tier. So we'll just cover it as one tier. And at that tier, you are getting the complete um, Blender Creator course. So this is sort of a, a full-blown, full modeling course beginning to end. Uh, Character Creator for Video Game Design course. Uh, the Environment Artist course. Uh, the Anime Character in Blender course. The Dragon Sculpting course. The Blender Texture Painting Advanced Technique course. Uh, and then a little bit out of place here, uh, you're getting the Pixel Art Character course. Uh, 3D Character Design and Animation. Uh, so this is dealing with uh, does it actually tell you what software? Um, no, it doesn't say in the description. Uh, but this isn't actually a Blender course, but it, it is for artists, obviously. And then you're getting a material pack in here as well. The Assets uh, Blender Surface Texture Material Pack. Uh, so a bunch of materials, 27 unique materials, 8 patterns, uh, so on. So you basically a blend file you use as a library. Uh, and then you get the uh, visual effects course, real world meets CG, and the Blender low poly character course. So you've got pretty much the full gamut of uh, working with Blender here. Uh, so we got sculpting, we got modeling, we got texturing, uh, we got VFX, we got 2D pixel art a little bit as well, uh, landscapes, low poly, and then uh, environments, high poly, and then character design, which would be high poly as well. So you got a nice mix of low poly, high poly. Generally, everything here seems to be uh, version three or higher. If we actually had on over to the course you're going to find uh, this is game dev tv's interface by the way uh, so they've got older stuff here so the inventor art environment course so see it was for 2.8 so they've updated it. So now they have a new version that is through 3.x. So anything that's a little bit older or outdated uh, gets archived. So everything you're getting here uh, should be up to date. Now, of course, there's always a listed price when it comes to this stuff. So you can see over here, uh, $2,000 in courses. That's always bunk. But as you can see, generally 580 or 360, you can get sale price on some of this stuff. So it's not that far. It's still a really good savings. It's just not $2,000 in savings because there's always some kind of a discount, but still great value from Humble. By far and away, the best way you can buy this stuff. So let's go take a look at one of the example courses, how they work. Uh, it is persistent. It tracks you through uh, your progress. So if I go here and I'm going through, you know, the interface walkthrough, uh, it will track where I'm at and then if I do complete and continue it will obviously go forward to in the next video, step we'll learn about you can see uh, video capture in place there's discussions for each step that are going through um, you can see that they can actually have ongoing um, kind of discussion there so if people run into problems or whatever you can get uh, some help down there or you can ask for help as you're going through uh, one thing that they, they sometimes have in this case they don't uh, is regular downloads as you go through. So for example, we only have this one download, which is of a rusty barrel. I have no idea what this particular one is in place. I'm kind of shocked that they don't have the final project here. But as you can see here, uh, you're going through every aspect of modeling this village, so you, this castle area. So 
um, you know, here's sculpting trees, 10 minutes on sculpting trees. You're going to find you learn a heck of a lot going through these particular courses. And I actually think video courses for artists uh, are kind of more universal, like trying to follow a text-based description or a book on how to use art tools is a lot more challenging uh, than like a programmer. A programmer a lot of times can just look at sample source code and a little bit of instruction and be good to go. Whereas art really lends itself to video tutorial sequences. So uh, I think this might be one of the best ways to learn Blender, at least in my humble opinion. So here you can see one of the courses, at least the way they're laid out. You can see they're broken out into like five to 10 to 15 minute course long uh, sections, summaries as you go. Um, they're pretty comprehensive in terms of what you're actually doing in these courses. And if you are out here to learn Blender, you're going from literally at the very beginning of this course of, you know, getting started and installing and so on uh, to creating a full-blown castle uh, environment, textured, uh, even here rendering and animating at the very end. So nice comprehensive course materials there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the bundle. So that is the Learn to Create Game Art in Blender 2022 by Game Dev TV software bundle. Again, a collection of courses for Blender. The good things here is everything I saw uh, does seem to be Blender 3.x. I can't verify it. I didn't go through every single course, but I checked quite a few of them. Uh, and each one I checked were actually using Blender. Uh, you also have this 2D course in here and the material pack in there as well, plus this filler course at the $1 tier. Um, it, it might even be worthwhile picking up the $1 tier thing if you like the way the courses are laid out and then maybe getting the whole thing after the fact. Uh, a lot of people just need to learn low poly skills anyway, so the $1 course is very useful. The mid tier is absolutely trash. There's no point in just buying these two when for a dollar more you're getting everything else that is here. But all told, a very solid humble bundle. I do like Game Dev TV though. I highly recommend them. I'm curious what you think of their works. Have you picked up some of uh, their game engine stuff in the past? And, and what do you think of Game Dev TV? Would you recommend people to use it or not? Let me know those things. Comments down below and let me know what you think of this bundle in general. All right, that's it. Happy blending. See you later. Goodbye.